Now I move to the issue of finding of and independence of the judiciary. Allusions have been made innumerable times about poor funding and how the judiciary has been emasculated by inadequate funding. My Lord, the late Honorable Justice Mustafa Akambi, former president, a former president of the Court of Appeal, in a publication titled The Men of Obstacles of Justice According to Law, said, and I quote, <coughs> A good judgment flows from a mind that is not bogged by the thought of where do I get my next meal, or where do I get the money to pay my son's school fees. Poor conditions of service disturb the mind. It is an obstacle to clear and positive thinking. Beyond the issue of the salaries of justices remaining static with no graduation for almost 15 years now, it is instructive to inquire what the judiciary also does with its allocations. Who is responsible for the expenditure? An unrelenting searchlight needs to be beamed to unravel how the sums are expended. In 2015, when President Muhammad Buhari became the president, the budgetary allocation to the judiciary was 70 billion naira. In 2018, appropriation bills submit, uh, submitted to the National Assembly, the president allocated 100 billion to the judiciary. The legislature increased it to 110 billion, 10 billion above the 100 billion appropriated for the 2017 year. At the end of President Buhari's tenure in 2023, judiciary's allocation had increased to 130 billion. 130 billion. This is an increase from 70 billion to 130 billion in eight years. The present government has allocated an additional sum of 35 billion naira to the judiciary for the current financial year, making the amount of money accessible by the judiciary to 165 billion naira. If one looks at what has been given to the states, each state was given 5 billion to solve its problems brought about by the conditions uh, we are going through because of the foil fee. If you look at what is given to the judiciary, and yet we are still saying that the judiciary is being emasculated, I think there is something wrong somewhere. More than 80% of the amount appropriated by the Ninth Assembly has so far been released to the judiciary. It is envisaged that the additional 35 billion naira will equally be released by the present government. I'm sure it will be released by the present government because I, I know the antecedents of Mr. President. Because when he was governor in Lagos State, I was privileged to be the, in the Lagos State Division of the Court of Appeal, and I knew his attitude towards the judiciary. I don't think he would be flippant to say that he's doing this and to recline from doing that. I'm very, very optimistic that that amount of money will be released to the judiciary as well. Now, notwithstanding the phenomenal increases in the sums appropriated and released to the judiciary, Justices and officers' welfare and the quality of service of the judiciary that the judiciary render have continued to decline. There is an unpredict, you know, a terrible decline in the services and the welfare of justices and officers of the institution. I should know. 
and I know, and I'm saying it as I know them. It may interest one to know that, and this is another ridiculous thing, that the Chief Registrar of the Supreme Court earns more than the justices of the court. It's not something of today. This anomaly has been in existence all these years. I was a, a, a chief for registrar in 1986. I knew what uh, salary I do, vis-a-vis -vis what the judges of the high court that I serve were taking. Supreme Court is the apex court. And yet, the chief registrar of this court earns much more than I do, earns much more than we all do. And nobody talked. Nobody talked. While she earns 1.2 million a month, justices take home 751,000 naira in a month. The Chief Justice on his part takes home 400,000 plus the Chief Justice. The salary of a justice curiously drops rather than increases when he gets the added responsibility of being a Chief Justice. <clears throat> That the unjust and embarrassing salary difference between the justices and the chief register still abides remains intriguing, to say the least. It is highly intriguing that this anomaly, we all know it, and nobody has taken it a duty to do something about it. Valedictory session after valedictory session. Lapses and challenges that should be nipped are restated to no avail. Quite the silence and seeming contentment. 